Hello everyone. Today sh- I am sharing a short video on perineal urethrostomy. Well, perineal urethrostomy is a salvage procedure. Most of the time it is being done for complex structure or in unfit patient who are not fit for any major surgical procedure or general anesthesia. As a part of stage 1 Johansson's urethroplasty or after total penectomy. The disadvantage of perineal urethrostomy are patient have to squat to pass urine. Sometimes scrotal amniotic dermatitis can happen because of soil is from the urine. Usually it's a permanent procedure though it can be reversed and there is a small chances of stenosis. With patient in lithotomy position, a inverted U-shaped incision is given. The perineum is opened in layers. Care is taken to have good fat pad coming along with the lower flap so that we don't compromise the vascularity. So almost all the fat up to the urethra comes along the lower flap. Then the urethra is dissected all around. We don't have to mobilize the urethra completely. We need to mobilize the urethra so that we can see the ventral aspect of the urethra clear. Once that is done, the bulbomus sponges muscle is dissected off the urethra. The lumen of the urethra is opened over the urethric catheter using sharp cut. At times, it is difficult to identify the lumen. In those cases, we can hold the urethric catheter and cut it over it. Once the lumen is identified with the help of scissor we can extend the incision both proximally and distally we'll encounter some amount of bleeding at this stage and calibration of the distal urethra is very important once that is done using 30 vicryl the flap is approximated to the urethra care should be taken so that we take the flap inside the urethra and have good mucosal approximation the lower flap is approximated to the urethra using 30 vicryl usually sutures are taken either side interruptedly so that good approximation can be done we'll have some amount of bleeding but we don't have to be worried about that because once we approximate the entire length of the urethra this bleeding usually stops once without tension the lower edge of the flap is approximated to the urethra the outer edge of the inverted u shaped incision can be approximated using mattress suture once we have approximated adequately up to the urethra we can start approximating it again to the urethra we should avoid taking continuous suture at this stage and it's better to put interrupted suture the open urethral bleed is approximated to the skin up to the apex we don't have to place drain once we have achieved adequate hemostasis periurethrally because this mucosal bleeding eventually will stop with good compression bandage once the approximation is completed we can insert a silicone catheter 16 or 18 fret usually the catheter is removed on day 5 and after that patient is asked to apply a antibiotic ointment for another 2 weeks thank you